time paper for discussions, what the group and the, the panel read. Mm. So can I invite some questions and let me introduce myself and Jody from the Philippines. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you for all that. It's reassuring that uh, we have a, at least a Labour Council here at least. Um, just a, uh, a couple of points on uh, the RPZ. Um, one of the things is um, I feel it's like a double taxation on us. <laughs> I mean it's nice having the RPZ so that people have got uh, parking for themselves. Uh, that's good. Um, instead of uh, you know, having the street occupied by old vans and lorries and so forth. But to charge someone for a first car or a second car or a third car, I mean the car is already taxed and uh, I feel it's like double taxation and it's something that uh, we don't need. Uh, if that could be really looked at, uh, I think it would make a lot of people happy. The other point I've got is about uh, social housing. Um, I know the government's done a lot of bad things to um, you know, cut down on the housing available, the bedroom tax and so forth. Um, this company you mentioned, the Red Door, having profits, it's, it's a good foresight to say, well, we'll do it like this, we'll get our own money, and then we'll invest in social housing so we have our own control, irrespective of what the central government's doing. But the problem is, if you've got a Conservative government in charge again, um, what is to say that they will not sort of manipulate things whereby you cannot use that money, <laughs> and like you, we're having sale of council housing now, because the government's moved the goalposts on the on rent capping and so forth. So what can we do to prevent the government from accessing that? Uh, cleaning, um, just I'll, I'll be very brief. Cleaning, yes, we're getting the cleaning done, but if you've got uh, you know, dog fudge there, it's just getting smeared thinly so you can't see it. It needs to be picked up. Um, one, one point, uh, we've got 10 million pounds spent on uh, uh, parks and things for maintenance. Now, we've got a lot of people going without food, um, and they're not even part of the economy because they can't afford the food. What about considering turning our parks into like production orchards and uh, you know, uh, produce and we can distribute that to, through the charities, the Gurdwaras, temples, mosques, through the actual established charities where people go and we can then distribute produce to them? Right. There's four questions there. <laughs> okay. um, I'll take four questions. <laughs> 